Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pork and pineapple curry with a coconut milk base. It's really simple, let's run through some ingredients for you. As you can see in the center I've got about 500 grams of chopped lean pork. Little touch of fat on it which is going to add a great flavor so don't, don't take all of that fat off, we need a little bit of that white on there. 400 ml of coconut milk, that's one regular can size. Down here I've got a little bit of fresh coriander in the center here. Some green chili, I'm going to put them in whole and there's some very finely chopped ginger and garlic. Over here I've got like one regular size, sort of medium size red onion, you could use white if you want, that's chopped. Here I've got what I call the big four, that's one teaspoon each of cumin, coriander, chili and turmeric or haldi. On this side is our whole spices, our whole garam masala which we're going to start the dish off which I'll explain once we're over there and I've got some pineapple here, I've got some fresh pineapple which I've chopped into chunks as you can see. If you wanted you could use a um, tinned pineapple, not quite the same but, but you can get away with it no problem. Obviously a little bit of oil, uh, oil is going to start us off with this and some salt. Let's get over to that cooker. Here you go, I've got my pan on the stove, a little touch of oil, not too much. I'm using a sunflower oil here, you can use any oil you want or even if you wanted some ghee. So look, in goes our whole spices, our garam masala. Now, for this I'm using mustard seeds, coriander seeds, some cumin seeds, I've got some cinnamon there, I've got a couple of little cloves in there and maybe two or three green cardamom pods. All we want to do here is just get these a little bit roasted in that oil. They'll start to pop on and crack, here they go. And as that happens, all of their lovely flavours are being released into that oil which is going to really flavour and infuse it. Now what we do, we're going to go in with our powders. Like I say, I always call these the big four. There's our chilli powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and turmeric. I'm going to be fairly fast here because I don't want to burn the, the powders, they can burn and if I do that they become bitter. So look, let's get our onion in straight away. And now I'm going to get those fresh chilies in and our garlic and ginger paste. Oh, wow, straight away we've got an incredible explosion of incredible flavours there. Right, now for our pork. Let's get this mixed around in our masala. Nicely coated with all those beautiful spices that we have. Wow, okay, that looks good. Let's pop a lid on this, let's cook it. It's on a fairly high heat, let's cook it for about four to five minutes. I'll see you then. Right, let's jump inside here now. That was just four or five minutes. I've chopped this pork quite small. If you cut it bigger, you need to cook it longer. Simply, let's go in with our coconut milk. A bit of salt, which we can check for again later. So slowly, slowly, don't put it all in now. And then our pineapple. I'm using a fresh pineapple like I said. If you wanted you could use a tinned one. But certainly drain it. Don't put all that syrup from the can into this. It's not going to work. Right, this is looking amazing. We're going to get the lid back on this now. 
I'm going to lower the heat a little, not to a simmer, just to a sort of average, average sort of heat. And I'll be back here. Wow, that's beautiful. I'll be back here in, in about five or six minutes. See you then. Okay, the final stage. This has all come together really nicely. I've given this a taste just a second ago. The salt level is perfect to how I want it, but you, again, you judge it how you like. Simply turn the heat off. I've got some fresh coriander there. That's going in. Give that a mix. The pineapple is really obviously added an incredible sweetness to it. You've got all those chili in there and the chili powder and all those lovely spices. It's just a fantastic balance. And that coconut cream kind of just smooths it all out. One of my favourite dishes this is, I have to say. Okay. That's it. See you next time. Take care.